Hi, this is Rick and thanks for joining. This is the eighth Microsoft Word tutorial and today's topic is working with columns. What I've done here is I've just created another article that I copied out of Wikipedia. And um, columns can come in pretty handy when you're working on things like a newsletter or another document that you need to um, separate the text, make it a little cleaner looking. So you might have a title up top and then uh, columns for different um, different topics in a newsletter is a prime example. So this is a, um, just a essentially random text. Um, so what I've done here is you've got several paragraphs and I've got a couple of pages of, of document. So what if I want to take the second, the second and third paragraph here and I want to make this into columns. I can go over here to the page layout tab and I can go here to page setup I can click columns and you see by default it's one column which is the whole page I can go to two columns and it splits it up into two same thing for three so I'm going to go back to um, two for a moment and I'm going to go into columns one more time and I'm going to go down to the more columns option here is where I can take the columns and I can customize the columns right now it's just default half the page three inches and then a half inch between it um, I can change the spacing between the between the columns and you can see over here it gets it gets larger I'm gonna go, I'm gonna cancel out of that and actually I'm gonna go back in there again and I want to show you something else in here that you can do you can click the line between and it will place a line between the two columns okay and the same thing if I change it to three it would put the lines between it so it makes it look pretty clean if you're trying to um, differentiate between the text the other thing you can do is I'm going to go back to two. I'm going to go and show you what the left one does here. It's a small column on the left and most of your text on the right. Pretty nice for like a you know a heading or a picture over here and then and then text over here. And vice versa, you've got the right option here, which is um, small column on the right and a large column on the left. The other thing is when you go into the more columns, you will see that you can apply this this setup to the whole document or the selected text or selected section. So anyways I wanted to make it a quick uh, tutorial today and hopefully um, that helps and appreciate you joining and please subscribe. Thanks. Take care.